Welcome back to episode 4 of my Ruins of Delusion developer commentary. So off camera, I did a bunch of stuff. I organized my chests, I might end up redoing how I organized this, but it's fine for now. Um, I mined up a bunch of coal, that's why I have so much coal in here. I made this window. Um, funny thing is, I didn't actually, I forgot there was glass in the rail line chest. So when I went to collect sand, I really didn't need to do that. So now I just have a ton of glass. But whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's a nice, much of you. I'm not sure why I made it like this, with like, everything raised up a block. And like, the floors blow. I don't know why I did that, but I just kind of went with it. Oh, and that was a reminder sign for me to make a rail line, which I did. That was uh, another thing. You can see the rail line right there. Just a simple rail line that goes to my um, melon farm, so I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to walk there every time. Also, that button touches the door. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. Anyways, um, yeah. So now I can just go over here. Got to break my stick to harvest the melons more efficiently, but whatever. Oh, I got so unlucky there. I think I only got three melons out of each of those. That's annoying. Um, okay, so this episode, I want to go back into Vineward Pass and get the other wool out of it. And there's also some other items that are important, but I'll get those um, as well. Um, so I have to gear up first, so take that for destroying spawners. Um, I think I want the smite sword, and I still take this as well. Um, helmet's about to break. I don't really have any armor right now. I'll just make a replace. Did I not put a crafting table anywhere here? Wow, how did I forget that? Whatever. Okay. So let me make another helmet. And I think my boots should be okay. Um, take more melons and I should probably have cooked this. Wow, okay. Whatever, I'll just there. Okay. So I guess I'm stuck with melons for now, but it should become pretty obsolete soon. Because of something that's in the thing. In the set. In the series. Oh. Whatever. These chests are not very... We have three potion chests for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I guess because I'm going to have lots of potions later on. What else? Alright, so blocks. Um... Cobblestone, wood, um, I feel like I'm forgetting some yeah, arrows. I have very few arrows. <laughs> um, should probably take the health potion just in case. And I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll make more torches as well. So let's head into the area. So I think actually I'm gonna go down first because there is an item that I want. Um, it's a stick with a uh, looting and fire aspect, so it's really good for um, farming mobs. So, like it has looting ten, I think. So if you're in need of arrows from skeletons, uh, it's really helpful. But also for farming cows, which is the main reason it's here. Though for some reason fire aspect and looting can't up both apply it seems. So either you let the cow die of fire and you get the normal drops. 
or you don't, or you kill the, the cow with the actual weapon, and then you get increased drop rates. It's kind of stupid. I think it's in one of these trees. Um, yeah, I think it's in this one. Oh, find a way up there. Oh uh, yeah, here it is. Pick up stick harvest. Uh, it's for harvesting. Yeah, and I also get a sharpness one, so it does a little, a little bit of damage. It's not really viable as a weapon though. Um, oh, and there's the th that tunnel leads to intersection too. Um, I did actually see that light thing that, up there before, but climb the waterfall. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. And they don't need this sign. Make some more nom nom noises. It's, just, it's not really loud now. <laughs> um. I don't know what to say about this dungeon. I guess it's kind of just a, it's a bunch of rooms, basically. And again, you could say that about every dungeon. Um, hmm. Yeah, old water mechanics means that this, like, this water thing wouldn't, you wouldn't normally be able to do this, but because this is an older version, uh, the water doesn't f doesn't flow and make more source blocks when it's on top of other source blocks. So, yeah. I think there's a gas spawner up here, yeah. I don't even know if it'll- oh yeah, it does spawn. Huh. Oh, that guy is annoying, so I'm just gonna go down here. Um, I wonder if there's a chest up here. I honestly don't know. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, <laughs> there goes the forest. And there's a chest over there, what the heck? I have no idea what's in that chest. Let's see. XP bottles. I just captured a lot of those around the map. There's an, there's an enchanting table in the next area. So, I put a lot of these just around the map so you can get high level enchantments. Um, so here's that dig thing again. With just the, you know, the chest and the shovel. Um, oh, I thought that was my... <laughs> Other stick, I don't want to bring that with me. Um, so this is mostly here just to make it sure that it's dark in here. Because... Um, I want to make sure mobs are actually spawning in here, regardless of what time of day it is. Oh jeez. I don't blow up. Do you want this over here? Oh no, don't. Do not want these guys blowing up right now. Okay. I don't really have a use for these spawners, so... Just gonna break them. And those pressure plates don't do anything. They're just to... freak you out a little. I have this thing, which I would not recommend taking the ladders. He has the broken. I don't think this is too hard to assault though. Oh no. Oh, I should have fallen. Oh, I guess I'm down here now. I wanna walk this off. This is not my plan. Oh, 
Glad I have that potion on me. Okay, I need to... This was not a good plan. <laughs> wow. Okay. Guess I'll attack this room first. Torches down so that mob stops flying. Don't blow up. God damn it, dude. I don't need these arrows on this guy. Is he stuck there? Dude, oh, there he goes. And that's a lot of spawn. Oh, it's just a bunch of zombies spawn or something. Oh no. Can I what? Look at that. Iron shovel. Yeah, this would have been a pretty good place for a zombie grinder. Like four spawners right there. Oh, some real food. Bunch of blocks. Crappy food. Now I have to get up here. Oh joy. Off. Oh, stupid blocks. Oh god. <laughs> okay then. I actually don't know how I only took a heart of damage there. Why is whatever? Oh yeah, I, went to, I don't know why I took this off my bar. I want to kill mobs with this. Jeez. Oh, just stupid creeper. Did blow up a chest. Kill you with this thing. There we go. There's. <laughs> it looks so funny when they die. They so they dropped so many things. Okay. Um. Ooh, a power bow. And there's the arrows. Two stacks of them. Plenty of arrows now. I'll come back through here and loot all this stuff. Off camera, because it'll be pretty safe. Just, that's what's in here. Much better chest plate. Um, not need to keep all this on me, though. I'll come back for most of this. Okay. Oh, wait, I thought I had... oh yeah, in this version of the game that doesn't work. You can't just click on an item to replace it. You have to actually, um... I don't need this bed either. You can't just click on an item to replace it. You have to, um... Or, when you have um, tools that have the same damage value, the same ID, so like two golden pickaxes, in that case, um, you can't. If they have different durabilities, you can't switch them because of the weird way the game works. That is a lot of creepers. But fortunately, as long as you make a wall like this, pretty easily just keep hopping around the wall. And once they start to explode, then there you go. Or they start to hiss, then you can just make it sure they don't explode. And there you go. So even- well, I did have that health potion, but I didn't need to fall down here, so there's more supplies. Eh, I don't really need any of that at the moment. Bunch of coal. Eh, books. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll loot all this off camera. Give me your arrows. And bones. Yeah, this takes forever to kill something with, but it's worth it. Seriously, go away. Stupid thing. So, yeah, oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, yeah, that's above the ocean. Or not ocean, the lake. We have this thing now. With the orange wool. So, originally I only put two cows here, 
And that is really loud. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> so originally there was only two cows here, but... And there was no, there was no um, cow spawn, spawn eggs in this chest either. So if you wanted to make a farm here, you had to actually drag two cows back. But that, I thought that was stupid, so... Like, why would anyone want to deal with that in the minecarts? It's so annoying. So I just put a bunch of cows here in case you wanted to, but then put the spawn eggs so you don't have to. And now I'm going to kill a bunch of cows. Oh, that does work! Wait, what? Huh. I guess I guess you have to do it in a certain way. But yeah. You can kill all these cows with a stick and get tons of steak. I mean, I'm going to be making a cow farm anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I'm getting all the steak now, but... Yeah. That's a lot of steak. Alright, and then uh, down here... Oh, I can turn the sound back on. It's gonna bother me if it's not a multiple of 10. This is another shovel just to tell you, you should dig down here. And actually, if you go oh, to a gas spawner, I don't even think that can spawn though. I think there's too many blocks around it. But if you drop down here into the water, you end up directly next to this thing, which goes to the intersection. So if you actually follow the path I tell you to, you'll find that really easily. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I guess I should grab some of the sugar cane. Why is that guy there? Is it nighttime? Oh, it's coming on nighttime. Go away, skeleton. Oh, wait, I have a power bow now. Die, skeleton. What the heck? Three, ar three arrows with power one. That's lame. I also, originally, I wasn't gonna put any. No oh, crap. I wasn't gonna put any seeds anywhere in this. Um. I wasn't gonna put any seeds anywhere in the map, and you just have to use that grass block or the patch of grass in the cow room to get wheat seeds. But I mean, you could I could have done that, but I don't really think there's a point. Just give you a bunch of seeds so you don't have to spend forever farming. Um. That's also one of the reasons why there's of sugar cane here so you don't have to just run around and farm it and just harvest a bunch but yeah that's this area um oh there's also i didn't even point this out and yeah, there's a bunch of annoying mobs here that vine wall right over there oh, there's also a gas spawner it'll probably spawn if i go over there yeah that that heightened fortress is this way as well it's like another oh there's a gas <laughs> Come on, burn down, burn down the forest. Yes, burn it all down. And we can go surprising like a fire. And there goes my helmet. But yeah, it's, it was a, it was originally just gonna be a vista, but then I kind of liked how the vines looked, kind of separating off the two areas and making them combined. Okay, this guy. Used to go away. I don't want my vines getting destroyed. So I want to climb them. Um, so still pretty easy dungeon. I mean, if you mess up like I did and you fall down, that's pretty dang pretty dangerous. But I should have been more careful around those creepers. Um. Yeah, that's this dungeon. Um. I guess I'll just go place the wall, and that'll be that'll be this episode. But I do want your uh, gunpowder. All right. I just realized I coughed a couple times, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cut those out. This no one needs to hear me sit there and cough. Um, yeah, orange wool, and I'll probably off-camera set up a cow farm, um, and I'll use a bunch of these bones to grow lots of wheat so I can breed them. There's orange wool. Did I get the, yeah, I got the, I got the egg out of there, that area already. That's the, uh, zombie, yeah, zombie egg. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's episode four.
Uh, see you next time.